Hello and welcome to episode 2 of Inquilution. We have a series. This game is too addictive for me not to play it. And not everything is about views. And we did fine with the first episode anyways. And I'm sure as I'm getting stronger, we're gonna grab more viewers. Now here I'm showing that I've played a bit on my own just to get a bit stronger. But I made no progress. I will always show you my progress. This means I did not beat the spider. And my goal in this episode is to beat the spider and go a little further and if you look at the title and play the game before you might know exactly where I am. So these are the multipliers that I have now. I'm going to start a run. I learned a bunch of things throughout this episode. I'll show you what I learned. Uh, there is a automation now, but I'm not going to touch it. So the, well, they call it priority. So you can somehow automate things, but I don't want to touch this because I still didn't understand queuing, but I will understand it later in the video. I'm going to show you what I learned. Okay, so we're cutting wood here and I want to thank Olivier Labrosse for explaining to me that I should build the hut as fast as possible. This way I don't have to worry about making too much food while I do other things such as cutting wood and digging etc. I'll do the same with a stone hut and made a big difference so thank you very much for the great advice. Now in next clip I will have fought the spider a little bit but there's something I did not notice in the first episode of course it was my first play and I was talking at the same time. When I was fighting the spider in this run, well in any run in reality, my out went down so fast of course because i'm fighting a mob makes sense so i need the stone hut i need the stone hut and i need food now i'm not managing my food properly look here i have zero berry in the last clip i'll explain what i discovered regarding food i know berries are weak but they really help i'll explain why later my goal is not to teach you as i explain it's just uh, i want to share with you what i learned Maybe one day when I become extremely knowledgeable, I can teach one thing or two, but uh, a lot of you already have made a lot of progress in this game. So we survived 13, almost 14 minutes, and we made progress everywhere. With cutting 1.37, trying to look at, look at combat 1.01, wow, what a progress. So I'm going to shut down those priorities once again. Even cut wood, I think I'll forget it. Did I? Yeah, I forgot to, but it doesn't matter. I fixed it later. Okay, so here I'm ready to fight a spider again. And look at the stone hut. It's pretty close to be ready. In the meanwhile, I'll share with you what I learned about food. Look at berries. I have 12, 11 or 12, and I have cooked fish. So let's say my L goes down and I eat fish, but I don't fill the bar completely. The berry will complete my healing because they are on separate timers. I did not understand that originally. I really underestimated how berries help even though they only give 5 HP. When I understood this, things got much better. Now I'm almost ready to fight a spider, but I need some food. Then we'll alternate between fighting the spider and preparing food and see how it goes. So we're finding the spider, you can see my health going down, we're back to normal now. Cooking again, berries again, then we'll try again. Let's see if we can beat the spider in this clip. Look at that going down, then I have to stop. Now I did a, a run or two after this video. And next episode you'll see that I beat the spider much faster than this, much easier than this. Now it doesn't look so great, but when I cook the fish, my health sort of goes up. But I seem to be stuck in the famous loop of catching fish, cooking fish, catching fish, cooking fish. So it doesn't seem like I'm gonna make it, unfortunately. But two thirds of the spider was dead, so next run, I think I really will beat the spider. If I remember the footage correctly, I already told you I would beat it anyways. So these are my numbers. 
Which one progressive? Look at combat 1.02. In the first episode I was talking about gear. I'm not so sure anymore that's going to be gear. Just maybe combat. I don't know. I'm speculating. I have no clue. Okay, let's talk about queuing. I can't yet because Explore the Area had priority at a certain level instead of zero. This is gonna mess me up, so let's just wait a few seconds. As you can see, I continue to explore the area because it's automated, and I don't wanna to touch this until I really understand it. I'm sure there's a way to make it really good, but I wanna do everything manually, so okay. We're back. So I got nine berries, right? So let's say I have no queue going on and I'm gathering berries. See, it stops everything. I thought it would hurt me, but it just pauses the game. It does slow me down though. So what I do is I just set up a certain queue that I like using these buttons and things happen without interruption in the order that I want. But watching this footage now, I really realize that it's not that big of a deal not to use this button as while I was doing it, I thought it was absolutely essential. Once again, because I came to the realization that it only pauses the game. You don't continue to decay. So to me, it doesn't seem absolutely essential. Please let me know in the comment what you think of the queuing, the way I'm doing it right now. Is it really essential? I don't think it is, but I could be wrong because I just started playing this game. So that's it about the queuing. Alright, next clip. Look at the spider. It's going down and now it's going to be time to kill it because the video is not too far from being over. So let's kill that spider. And let's see what's after that. So the spider is going down. And now it's a guarantee that I'll make it. I have six berries, five cooked fish. We're done and explore cave exit. I want to do that because it's going to increase my agility a little bit. First of all, I'm just getting food back, recovering my health, and then we'll be ready. We're doing it right now. Explore the cave exit and see what's the other side. Once again, if you saw my title and played the game, you know where I'm going to end this run. In fact, I'm going to show you up to the point where this run will end. And that's the last run of the video. So we're almost done exploring and I said, how far am I going to be able to get because I'm still alive and well. Okay, I need to cross the lake and I saw a bridge. I'm going to hit action, but I knew it wouldn't work. There you go. Of course, I need a bridge because I cannot swim. <laughs> All right, so we're going to try to survive. Um, but building this bridge will take a while. So I knew I would not be able to do this. And look at apples. So apples are a new thing. I did not sit right away. And we're going to take a look on how strong apples are compared to berries. Berries was 5 HP. Apples take a while to pick, I guess. That's what I worked on a little bit after this video, trying to increase my farming so I can get apples faster. So I'm cooking fish, getting apples, etc. I'm gonna fast forward this part because it was unbearable. I'm just waiting to show how much apple gives, explaining why it's so slow to pick up and why I need more farming. Look at fish, 20 health, okay. Apple, 35 health. It's now the case that my fruits are stronger than fish. So I better increase my farming by a lot. Berries gave five, right? So yeah, I wanted to show you that, but I'm not gonna make it, of course, as I already told you, but I'm still trying just in case. I'll reach a point where I'm picking up apples so slow that my health's going down faster than I can pick up apples. And it's always a sign that I'm going to die. So I didn't care. All I wanted to do is increase my farming once again. And uh, that's going to be my focus. I continue playing until next episode, but I will not cross the lake until I'm ready 
to show it to you. Uh, so once I'm ready to cross the lake, I'll make a new episode. But I want to wait a few days between each episode just to let them breathe, quote unquote, you know. I don't want to give you an episode every two, three days. Maybe a little more delay because I have other games too. But it's really a fun game. I really enjoy it a lot. And we're approaching the last clip of the video. And I'm about to die, by the way. This is the last run also. And 20 minutes. So I have 20 minutes. Yeah, it's really addictive. I want to play all the time. I have to refrain. I'm addicted to multiple games anyway, so so it's a bit... Uh, well, it's not really a problem because I'm making videos, so I guess it's a constructive thing. So 20 minutes, 47 seconds is the longest I ever survived. Farming 1.8, that's what I'm going to focus on, but my highest is fishing at 1.95. And that's my best. Combat 1.04, pretty low. Well, eventually it's gonna go up for sure. Look at that, I already started exploring the area. This thing needs to get a shutdown. There you go. All right, let's take a look at generation history. We'll do that at the end of each video. I'll scroll down if you're interested in this wall of numbers, but then there will be a zoom in on the previous generations and we'll end it here. So please let me know in the comments what you think of this format of video. That's how I would do it for the whole series. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please hit thumbs up and leave a comment below. If you want to support this channel, you can subscribe and hit the notification bell to make sure you don't miss future videos. Thank you for watching and see you next time.